Hi friends, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new timeline component in Kanbanize. First of all, we have to add it to your board. Go to Edit Workflow and then press this Create New Timeline Workflow button. Save the changes and go back to your board to see the timeline showing up. Let's open the backlog where I have created some initiatives. It's now time to plan them. All you need to do is take them and drag them to the timeline. Pay attention to this red placeholder. It shows you that you cannot place the initiative on this space. You have to look for the blue one. So you go ahead and plan all the initiatives. And also you can resize them to indicate that some of them will take more or less time. Let's just go ahead and create the plan. All right, with the control hit on the keyboard, you can use the mouse scroll button to zoom in and zoom out. Or you can just go ahead and use this scale right here. Okay, let's focus on those gray squares right here. What are they? These are actually tasks I've put in the backlog. These are children cards that are linked to these initiatives. So how do I actually start working on this plan? Well, you go ahead and start the card. Once you do so, you see that the initiative updates shows one orange card, which means it's in progress, and it shows 0% completion. Now, when you finalize the first task, it goes green and it shows you 50% completion. But how do I create those children cards? Let's say I want to create the first child card of the design initiative. I just take it and I drag and drop it to the board and I create a child card for design. Now, if I want to start it, the system will not let me because design can only start after the specification has been done. So the system gives me an error. All right, now all you need to do is plan your project, break it down into tasks, and then go execute. I hope you enjoy it.